Hello everyone, this is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas. I have a Hobby Lobby clearance haul that I would like to share with you and I hope that you will join me. Let me start with the ribbons. I picked this up, this was $2.99, I paid $0.74 cents. and this ribbon is 7 8 by 4 yards. And it is a flat nylon lace trim in ivory. Let's see, I have some paper, some black paper here so you can see this better. Look at that. How cute. And then I also picked this one up. Now, see there? They look like they're different, right? That's what I was thinking until I got it home. This one is. $2.49 and I paid $0.62 cents. and it is also 7 8 by uh, 4 yards. Now look at this. There, it's the same ribbon. I was tricked. <laughs> See there? It's the exact same thing. So if you can find it in this one, you get to pay $0.62 cents. and then the larger spool is $0.74. Cents. So I now have two rolls of this ivory lace. I'm, I'm fine with that. I will find a use for all this ribbon. I do love my ribbons. <laughs> and then I picked up uh, two of these here. Let me show you this one. This was $2.99 and I paid $0.74. Cents. And this is... 5 8 inch by 12 feet. Look at that. And then this is the a canvas fabric. Does it say on here? It says orange, white, and black. 100% polyester. And then this one is a sewing ribbon. I didn't know. Is there a difference? Because this one I picked up in the craft section. And then this one came from the sewing section. I don't know. Really weird. <laughs> but this is what this one looks like. I like it. I like the, the stitching. So I was thinking I can use this in uh, my Halloween craft projects, right? Very cute. And it'll work really well for Easter too. But that was my thinking why I picked up two. And then I also picked this one. This was also from the sewing department. Regular price is $1.99 and I paid $0.49. Cents. And this one is 3 8 inch by 15 feet. And then I also picked this one up for the Halloween crafting. Look at that. I like it. And this is on uh, that grain ribbon. And then I have another one here. This one is 100% leather. It is 1 8 inch by 25 feet. Regular price was $5.99 and I paid $1.49. And then this one also says sewing. And it's in the beige color. So just what this is, is like a, a leather um, rope. So there's a lot of use for this one. I like it. So two spools just for me. And I only found it in this color. So I don't know if they did have another color available. I couldn't say. And then I see, what do I show you next? Let me show you this. I found one more of these silicone candles and it's in the sphere. Regular price was $12.99. I paid $3.24. And let me grab a scissor so I can get this open. I do have one already, so I'm quite happy to have found another one. And this is what they look like. It's round. <laughs> I 
nothing too special about it. It's round. So here's the wick goes in here and I've yet to use this so I'm thinking oh no the wig comes out from this so this is the top of your no no you pour it like this and then see the picture here when it's done it should sit this way okay well I won't be experimenting with these very soon so stay tuned <laughs> And then I went down the party aisle and I picked out these confettis. This is the Woodland Creatures. Regular price was $9.99 and I paid $0.49. Cents. And you get a mix of some pretty, pretty woodland characters. So we got the fox. Let's see. A hedgehog, you get uh, mushrooms, a chipmunk, acorns, you get leaves. Oh, you get the mushrooms in different colors. How cute. You see there? Nice, right? I like it. I bought two bags. I picked up some Prima flowers too. This was $5.99 and I paid $1.49. And I only found the one package. So I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> I at least found one package. I went after work so by the time I got there some of the items were already sold out. So in this package, it looks like you get four different colored flowers. See there? How cute is that? And it has the little gold balls right in the center of each flower petal. Very nice. I like it. And then, let's see. I also picked up this one. And these I found too. And then this is also the Prima Flowers, regular price $5.99, and I paid uh, $1.49. I like these. These are like the daylilies. Look at that, how cute. So these you get 12 flowers per package. And, sorry about that, let's see. How many do we get in this one? 72 flowers on this one. How nice is that? So I'm quite happy I found at least two packages in the daily list. I plan to visit another store this coming weekend. Hopefully they will have um, some more in stock and I can pick up some more colors and then I went down the uh, gem aisle and picked up some gems let's see I picked up three packages each uh, this one and this one hmm. which one goes where trying to figure out the packaging okay here we go so um this one here you get five pieces it says and see there and i think what they mean is that these gems here are is on one strip of tape look at that so what i normally do is use them as individuals i'll just cut them apart and use it that way there's that one and then this one and then this one you get 90 pieces so these are all individual and you get five different shapes on this one I like it 
I wonder if these are all the same sizes. Let me see. It looks smaller, doesn't it? Um, the second row is is the same size. Can you see that? And then uh, this fourth row is the same size. And the last row is the same size. So all together you get seven different sizes. I like it. I'm happy I found these glow in the dark gems. Just in time for Halloween. And then I picked up this one too. This is um, an adhesive strip. You get two pieces and they are one inch by 12 inches and they're three millimeter gems. So the same thing with this one. I'll end up cutting them apart and using them as individual gems. But I'm quite happy. I only picked up the one package each. I figured there are enough gems in there to last me a lifetime. <laughs> and then I picked up the purple one too. And it's the same thing on this one. Three millimeter, one, one by 12 inches. And then I went down the die cut aisle. I think the gems are down the stickers aisle, right? So the die cut aisle, I only picked up one and it's a 3D Impresslet. And it's by Sizzix. It was $11.99. I paid $3.49. And this is the one I picked up. I like it. So I wanted several different ones, but the ones I wanted were gone. And this was the only one that was left in the style I wanted. So this is a cut and an emboss in one step piece. And this is what it looks like. And then um, from the stamp aisles, I picked up two Mickey Mouse stamps. And then these were $5.99 and I paid $1.74. And the Disney Mickey Mouse and Friends. So on this one, you get 10 pieces. And grab a paper here. This is what we get. I guess the pants goes on here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then I picked up this one. Let's see. This one is 12 pieces. So I'm quite happy I found at least two more stamps. So that and then I went down the, the paint aisle, like the fine art paint aisle, and I picked up this medium. It was $8.99 and I paid $2.24 and it's in the opal glitter medium. You get 7.98 fluid ounces. And I picked up the one just with the glitter. They have another one too, it's called Laser. It's the same color, but you get the, the flakes in there, the glitter flakes. A combination of the glitter and the glitter flakes. But I figured this is good enough for me. <laughs> I believe it also comes in gold. But um, yeah, I kind of passed up on that one. And let's see. Down the aisle with all the Tim Holt items, I picked this up. It's the Stress Oxide Spray. And I picked up this package. This has the Gathered Twigs and Hickory Smoke. Regular price $11.99 and I paid $2.99. I also picked up this one. This one 
is mustard seed and something else. Let me see. You know, what's so well, these bottles will turn and you can't see the name of the paint. Okay, here we go. Carved pumpkin. See the two colors? I should open this one too so you can see better. Here we go. This is the, well, we, they need to be mixed. But this is the gathered twig and the hickory smoke. So I will add this to my supply boxes. In the same aisle as all the the stress spray oxide spray, I found this one also. This is a brass template. I you know the very first time embossing stuff came out, this was kind of like the rage. Because <laughs> I do own several <laughs> and I was um I could not remember if I already owned this one or not, so I went ahead and picked it up. So this regular price is $4.99 and I paid $1.24. So that's what that looks like. Yeah, you need a very small embossing pin to get into all the little crevices. I like these. Cute. And then um, I picked up this also is Fiskars uh, Score Smooth and Curl. It was $7.99 and I paid $1.49. I also picked this up, the Spellbinder Magnetic Pickup Tool. This is a very handy tool in case you're wondering. If you ever decide to do like... Um, what is it called? Gosh, my brain is not functioning well. Okay, regular price is $9.99 and I paid $2.49. Um, hot plate, that's what it's called. You use this like, you know, when you're die cutting or embossing on hot plates because your die will get hot and then you need something to pick it up with and this works really well. So a very handy tool to have in the supply box and then uh, regular items I picked up this time because I needed uh, to resupply of these paints I picked up two shades of grays I picked up the charcoal and the gray and I was looking at my receipt because I couldn't well, you know, it doesn't say how much it is. And I think I paid a dollar seventy four each. But that seems pricey for acrylic paint, right? I don't know. I have to go back to Hobby Lobby and see how much it was. That's the only item on my receipt that shows up at two for one seventy four each. So it's possible. <laughs> And then I also picked up this glow in the dark paint and this is in the green uh, color and this was $2.49 so oops sorry and I, I do need these for uh, coming projects so I had to I had to go locate my gray <laughs> and then I also picked up this ribbon and this is from the sewing section it is seven eighth by seven yards and it was three ninety nine and I believe this past week they were fifty percent off so I paid one ninety nine. I wanted to let you know I did find my paint. I had to do some searching but I found them. Look at this deep gray and dark gray and they are by Craft Smart and i found them at michael's so if you're looking for these colors that's where you'll find it <laughs> um, like i really really did some searching <laughs> oh quite happy with that and now i own two more shades of gray that i did not have before 
So it was a win-win situation. <laughs> you know, I stopped by my Hobby Lobby store on Friday, um, which was what, the second? And they had not done any of the clearance at all. So I'm like, well, this is their the 50% off week anyway, so they probably won't do it at all. So, um, and then come Saturday, I'm like, I need some paint. So, I, while searching for my dark grays, I stopped by Hobby Lobby. And I'm like, since I'm here, I need to go make a detour. <laughs> I was like, let me go stop by the craft book section. And I'm like, oh, no way. Nobody told me. <laughs> And it was like they had done their markdowns. <laughs> so I missed out on a few items like uh, the rest of the Mickey Mouse collection. I do have two other sets, so I, I now own four. And there's what, like five or six uh, different ones? I don't know. But I'm quite happy I have these. And then for some reason at my store these impress lids were uh, a seller item and so yeah i missed out on the rest of those <laughs> and then i was also looking for the the alcohol uh lift ink by, by tim holt or is it ranger one of them and um yeah that was gone too and then I wanted some of the little flowers and all the little flowers was pretty much gone. We had some of the, the big flowers still in stock. But I do plan to visit uh, my other store and uh, I may, you know, I'm hopeful that I will find some more there. Because the, uh, the one store, it is a bit of a drive, which is what, 15 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> that's a drive for me uh, and I do have to get on the interstate to, <laughs> to get to that one and um, well they're usually like a week behind under, on their markdown so I'm hoping that's the case too so I can go um, check that store uh, probably in a couple of days uh, my next day off <laughs> I can go check to see if they did their markdowns Thank you for stopping by. This is Aurelia at Aurelia's Crafting Ideas and I will see you next time.